Aramac High School's cavalcade of bands is finally back. And while there's been a two-year hiatus, the bands haven't missed a beat. That doesn't mean it's been easy, though. These students have been hard at work for months to prepare for tonight. Drum major Ian Cannon discussed the high school band's experience learning these pieces. For the large group festival last weekend, we performed two level six pieces, which are incredibly difficult, but it was really fun to work on it and challenge ourselves as a band and as an ensemble. But we've been practicing it and working on it for, um, for a very long time, since January. And then now for this concert with the new, um, new song um, that we just started working on three days ago, which it was astounding to me how incredible this band is and how we've been able to put it all together in such a short period of time and make it sound as good as it does. That level of skill doesn't come out of nowhere. From fifth grade up through high school, the cavalcade is a great opportunity for students to demonstrate how they've evolved over their time in band, as MHS band president Ruth Ellis explains. I've been in band since fifth grade. Um, I started off playing trumpet, I'm still playing trumpet, and um, I think I've grown a lot. <laughs> I came into high school and like, I saw like really good musicians and I wanted to grow a lot, so I did. Growing as a musician is one thing, but students learn more than just musical skills in band. They also learn life skills. And for the high school band, that's thanks to band director Patricia Cunningham. Oh, they're constantly, you know, we talk a lot about life's lessons and what band does for them, about leadership and being confident and just being a good person. There's so many of our students that when they graduate from high school, they seek out colleges so they can still keep playing the music because they know just how important it is in their lives. Mrs. Cunningham would know that better than anyone. She established the Cavalcade of Bands in 1989. But this year is her swan song. After 36 years, she's retiring. There's just so many, so many wonderful moments over the years, because I've taught for 41 years, it's hard to pin the, the best ones because the band, I've been so blessed to have wonderful musicians, wonderful colleagues, supportive administration, and I'm gonna miss everybody immensely next year. The impact Cunningham has had on her students couldn't be clearer. You only need to watch them play their instruments to see how confident and coordinated they are. But more than that, you can tell that they have incredible respect for their teacher and have genuinely enjoyed learning from her. Miss C gives us these like life little lessons that kind of stick with you, like, uh, I don't know, don't be mean to other people's dogs, <laughs> which I wouldn't anyways, but still, stuff like that, like, it's just nice. Her life's little lessons I've taken to heart. Uh, the one that always stood out to me was always wave at airplanes, which I still do to this day. I'm out in the middle, middle of the street and I see a plane and I stop what I'm doing and I wave. Um, and it just, it reminds me of her, it reminds me of all of the experiences I've had here. Um, and it's really just taught me that paying attention to the little things in life is incredibly important and makes every day just feel a little bit better. And I think I have her to thank for that. As the cavalcade reached its finale, the students expressed their gratitude to Mrs. Cunningham. Of course, she had some heartfelt words of appreciation for her students, too. It's hard to believe that it's coming to an end, but, you know, the band will be great. I told the high school students on Monday when I told them I was retiring, and there were a few tears shed had too. Um, I said, I'm not the band. You guys are the band. You're the ones playing the instruments and you need to go on because you are my legacy. I need you to go on. And um, for the fifth and sixth and seventh graders, this is your first cavalcade. And you'll remember this forever. You'll remember this night forever and how special it is. And you know, even though I won't be here in the fall, I'll still be following everybody and, and seeing how things are going. But um, it's just been such a pleasure. The town has been incredibly lucky to have an educator like Mrs. Cunningham for so long. The lessons she's taught over the years have not only struck a chord with band students, they've touched the community as well. So remember, Merrimack, be nice to your neighbor's dog and always wave at airplanes. Thanks for watching.
Good evening, everyone. This is so exciting. I just want to say we're back, and we're so glad to be here. This is my most favorite concert because I love to see the beginning of the program to its culmination in the high school. My name is Pat Cunningham. I'm the band director at Merrimack High School. I'd like to welcome you all to our, well, it used to be an annual cavalcade of bands until the last couple of years, but we're so, like I said, we're so happy to be back. I'd like to introduce uh, my colleagues here tonight to, on your right, Miss Bunny Serenita does a master call up at our elementary schools. Assisting her this year is Ms. Melanie Hibbard from SNHU. And from the middle school, Mrs. Holly Levine. With Just a couple of housekeeping things tonight. Please observe where all of the exits are. Should we have to evacuate for any reason, those doors right there go outside. You can also exit. Um, those doors that you came in. Um, I would encourage you to please make sure everything is turned off that might make a sound that we don't necessarily want in the music tonight. So um, you're welcome to record, but Merrimack TV is here recording tonight and it will be aired in the very near future. So we thank them for being here. Um, yes, thank you. A couple of other things too, because it's been a long time since we've really had a concert with this many people. We ask that you please stay seated, seated throughout the concert so as not to distract uh, the performers. It's going to be a wonderful evening tonight. There will be a little bit of set changes um, between the groups, so we'll try and do it as quickly as we possibly can. So, uh, without any former, um, any further ado, excuse me, we're going to start with the fifth grade band. We're going to begin reverse order for fifth grade band. Our first song will be Master Cola Magic, followed by the Magnificent Five. It's a lot of M's in our titles right now. Our fifth grade band, I'm really excited to be here with them. They've done a great job this year. Uh, we rehearse one morning a week. And the beginning of the year, we were rehearsing in a gym because we needed to have a lot of distance. So uh, they've been doing a great job. It's really hard to learn how to play as a group when you're spread far apart in a gym. So they're doing a great job. I hope you enjoy. This is Master Cola Magic.
now to sixth grade. Um, I know Mrs. Cunningham and I talk about, I kind of like this podium, this is great. Uh, Mrs. Cunningham and I, you know, I'm always, I love this concert, but for me it always feels like the most stressful one of the year because we have once a week practice and we want to do high level music. And then I get here and it's always my favorite night of the year. It's always my favorite because I think it's so great. You're going to hear this progression of once a week practice to three days to averaging 45 minutes every day in the high school. And it's pretty amazing when you hear that growth. But also when you see these young people and their ability to persevere and problem solve and it doesn't just make songs right away and having to go, oh, that sounded kind of bad at first and picking it back up and trying again and practicing. So it's such a treat. It's such a treat to see middle schoolers here who most of them started with me unless they moved in after and to see that they keep growing and continuing and sticking with it. And of course, high school and 9th and 10th and 11th and 12th grade, you're always part of my heart. You're always part of the JMU's family. Um, so it, as you can imagine, it's very rewarding for me because I know them the longest. I know those 12th graders for eight years, and that's a pretty cool job as a teacher. There's not many other teaching jobs that get to know the kids that long. Um, so that's my spiel about how great this night is. This is sixth grade band. We also practice once a week, but you're going to hear that they're starting to play some more complex rhythms and, and uh, more pitches, and we're trying to add in things like dynamics and exact endings of phrases together. And our first song is going to be directed by our wonderful student teacher from Southern New Hampshire, Miss Melanie Hibbert.
gentlemen. My name is Holly Levine. I'm the band director at the middle school, and boy, it's been one heck of a year, and we're enjoying every minute of it. Um, uh, just a few days ago, on Saturday, we played at the large group festival at Bow High School, and you would be just amazed at how these students behind us uh, performed that night. You'll hear it again tonight. We played three songs on Saturday. We're playing two of those again today, and we really hope you enjoy them. The first song we're going to play is called Emblem of Victory, and I'll tell you a little bit more about the second song in just a short moment. This is Emblem of Victory. one more piece to play for you tonight. Uh, they made me do this this year. <laughs> um, and I know lots of kids at the high school, you know this song, and it's a lot of fun. It's called the Great Locomotive, Great Locomotive Steam Chase? Chase. Great, Chase. Chase. Great Locomotive Chase. Sorry. Um, it's, it's loads of fun. You're going to hear all kinds of neat little percussion sounds back there. We have some solos, um, and I'll announce those names now. Um, clarinet solo, Avis Clever. On flute, Allison Nord. Oboe, A.J. Plant. French horn, Sean Morin. Also on French horn, Adam Levine. Euphonium, Leah Jobin. Trumpet, Paige Mason. And also on trumpet, Carl Derek Dorsan. Some really neat solos in there. So, I, so listen for them and you'll enjoy them. Um, I want to tell the fifth grade and sixth graders, you guys were phenomenal. 
and I'm so excited for you. Because you are the next this, right? You're the next this. So I can't wait to see some of you next year. I hope all of you sixth graders are going to come up and play with us next year, because you guys are outstanding. Fifth graders, two years, I'm going to be looking for you too. And middle schoolers here, you are the next that. So wait till you hear that, and you'll know how exciting that's going to be for you. So just wait. All right, it's going to be lots of fun. So anyway, we're thrilled to be back. Here's the great locomotive chase.
Next you're going to hear the high school band and I'm so incredibly proud of them and I'll be saying more about that in a little bit. But we're going to open up our portion of the program by Carl King March called Hosts of Freedom. And I'm especially proud because um, we started playing this on Monday. So we've had three rehearsals, but it still will be good. So I promise, okay, uh, Hosts of Freedom. Too well went to the New Hampshire Large Group Festival last Saturday, and um, we received the highest rating that we could possibly get, which was a four. So I'm incredibly proud of this group. We played um, uh, two grade six pieces, which that's the most difficult level that you can participate at, and then another piece. We're only going to be playing one of those pieces tonight, for which will be the next one. But I want you to know that this doesn't happen by magic. It happens with a lot of hard work by students, by teachers, by parents, you know, to keep these students involved. And with Merrimack, we're the only school in this state that participates in every festival that's available to, to students because we go to solo and ensemble festival. In fact, this year, um, Merrimack schools had, I think about 70 to 75% of all the entries from the whole state. So that's amazing. We also participate in uh, the Clark Terry Jazz Festival, which I will uh, speak about a little bit later. And then um, large group, all state, we have 10 students in two weeks will be participating in the all state band and orchestra. So that's the next thing. We've had a very, very busy festival season, as probably most of you know, but um, it's been so wonderful, just so incredibly wonderful. And that's why this group and these groups are as good as they are. And I never for one minute take it for granted. 
it, like I said, it doesn't happen by magic. It happens because of everybody here. So, and I, I know that that fine tradition will continue. So the next piece we're going to play is Incantation and Dance.
gentlemen, we're going to move into the final stretch of our evening tonight. We're moving along pretty well with time and with the cavalcade. I don't, not that I'm meaning to rush because it's such a wonderful evening. Uh, I don't know how, I, I, I mean, these guys are they're doing a wonderful job. And you'll, you'll hear that, but I don't know, high school, that was, that was pretty, quite smashing over there. Um, un, unbelievable. Unbelievable. So congratulations to you guys. That was, that was unbelievable. So now for something completely different. Uh, so we have the middle school jazz band here. We rehearse once a week uh, for about 45, 50 minutes or so. But we have a lot of fun, and we're going to play two songs for you tonight. One is called Brain Sprain, and the second one is called Sea Band Stomp. And we'll have some solos in there. So before we play that piece, I will let you know who you're going to hear playing improvised solos. So, All right, so here comes Brain Sprain. Now we're going to have some fun. This is C Band Stomp, and you're going to hear seven of our students behind us playing what are called improvised solos. They're making it up. They have a bank of notes that they're kind of working with as a little foundation. For some of them, this is their very first attempt um, publicly <laughs> of performing solos. Some of them have a little experience, but it's quite fun. It takes a lot of bravery, some courage, but you're going to enjoy what you hear. This is C Band Stomp, and you're going to hear solos from uh, um, Colin Plum on bass, Phoebe Kohler on trombone, sorry, she plays two instruments, um, Paige Mason on trumpet, Evan Carlson on trumpet, 
uh, Fiona Ruffelart on bass clarinet. Yep, bass clarinet. You heard that. You heard that right. Um, Bridget Powers on alto sax and Evan McCarthy on tenor sax. So we hope you enjoy C band stall. We get to the final 
ensemble this evening. This is the MHS Jazz Band. Uh, about 10 days ago, we participated in the Clark Terry Jazz Festival at UNH, and the band did an absolutely wonderful job. So you're going to hear two of the three pieces that we played that night. Uh, the first one is Jersey Bounce, and it features on solos Kelly Dustin on trumpet, Ian Cannon on tenor saxophone, Ross Corman O'Reilly on alto saxophone, and Trey Grant on trumpet. As many of you may, hopefully most of the programs had a special insert that we snuck in, uh, dedicating tonight's concert, Cavalcade of Bands, to Mrs. Patricia Cunningham. She has been in the, the district since 1986, and sorry to make you cry, um, she has transformed this band program. Um, before Mrs. Cunningham, there was not an elementary band program. She started that. And in 1989, Mrs. Cunningham began our very first cavalcade of bands. (laughs) 
I know a lot of you know this, but Mrs. Cunningham is a living legend in the state of New Hampshire for band directors. She has grown this band program from having no elementary band to having a high school band that regularly performs the highest difficulty of music at a very high level. She comes to the elementary school concerts. She comes to our middle school concerts. She is why we're a giant family from fifth grade to 12th grade. And uh, we're going to miss her much. And we just wanted to say this concert is her concert. Tonight is dedicated to you. Mrs. Levine, would you like to add on since I've rambled enough? Uh, there's not much I can add to that. It, just, Ms. Cunningham, you are a, a, a legend. You're amazing, and what you do with the kids that we send to you is beyond words and understanding, and I'm not sure what we're gonna do without you. I, I, really, I really don't know, but we love you, yes? Yeah. We love you, and we thank you for everything. president at the Merrimack High School um, and I want to thank all of you guys for being here and for um, supporting all of the young musicians in the room but also we really want to give a big thanks to Miss C and all of the other band directors because without them specifically without Miss C uh, we wouldn't be who we are and the musicians that we are um, and it's just we've just grown so much in the last four years um, especially through COVID which was really hard for a lot of us and Missy stuck it out <laughs> and she you know helped us stick it out so hello I'm Ethan I am the vice president of the band and I would just like to say thank you to Miss Serenita Miss Levine and Miss Cunningham they are essential to our school district. The band program is one of the most fun things I've done throughout my schooling. And it wouldn't be a thing without these three. Miss Serenita is the reason that all of us are here. She's the one that helped us start playing instruments and encouraged us to keep playing. Uh, Miss Levine, Keep, just kept encouraging us, uh, making sure we pushed through, we persevered. Um, both of their bands sound amazing tonight. And <laughs> so kudos to those two for being amazing directors. And Miss C, I don't have words for how much Everyone in the band appreciates Miss C and everything she does for us. She is quite literally the reason we are standing here right now because she, I mean, she did the first cavalcade. She is the one who thought to bring all of these bands together to play and make music for all of you. And she's also the reason that we are able to play music at such a high level and the reason our jazz band is able to perform at festivals with college level bands and professionals. And to th say thank you to all of them, we got them all flowers and cards, so. And 
one final thing I'd like to say to all of the musicians in the room, all of the elementary or upper elementary and middle school kids, keep playing music, keep with the band program. It's so much fun and so many amazing memories and friends have been made through this program. So yeah, keep playing music. Thank you. Okay, well, I held it together for a while. <laughs> I don't know what to say. You know, I remember my first cavalcade, and that was in 1989. That was the first year that we had the feeder program. And as I said, when I came in 86, there really wasn't. I mean, there was a band, and I started at the middle school. I was there for 12 years before I came to the high school. And I, I've told this story to the band, and probably others of you have heard this before, but when I first came in the middle school, there were 23 students in the band. Okay, that was fine. I said, play a scale. <laughs> and they looked at me like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and they knew five notes. So I knew I had my work cut out for me. Um, it's hard to believe that it's, this, I think it's my 41st year of teaching, I think. Um, I haven't, I started teaching in 1981. So um, it's hard to believe that it's coming to an end, but you know, the band will be great. I told the high school students on Monday when I told them I was retiring, and there were a few tears shed that too. Um, I said, I'm not the band. You guys are the band. You're the ones playing the instruments. And you need to go on because you are my legacy. I need you to go on. And um, for the fifth and sixth and seventh graders, this is your first cavalcade. And you'll remember this forever. You'll remember this night forever and how special it is. And, you know, even though I won't be here in the fall, I'll still be following everybody and, and seeing how things are going. But um, it's just been such a pleasure. And I wanna, I've been blessed with so many wonderful students over the years, literally thousands, literally thousands and all of the wonderful colleagues that I've had and the support of administration, because without them, the feeder program would never have started um, over the years. And, you know, I'd be remiss without thanking all of them. Um, I also want to make, uh, thank Merrimack TV for being here tonight, recording everything. Um, Mr. Benson and Mr. McDowell are at the soundboard and my husband who's back there who's been supporting me every minute and I know he's trying to keep it together too. <laughs> so just one thing uh, before we play our last piece, uh, please wait in your seats until the students have left, and then those of you that are parents of um, upper elementary students or school students, meet them in the cafeteria, and you can pick them up from there. So I think I've completed all those housekeeping things. Uh, the last piece we're going to play is Backbone, and it features a number of people. It's a Thad Jones chart. I'll make sure I get everybody. We have Ethan White on trombone, Ruth Ellis on trumpet, Ian Cannon on tenor saxophone, Trey Grant on trumpet, and Chase Rowe on the drums. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, and uh, I will see you soon. I'm not gonna go far, so thank you. Thank you.